Hello and welcome again to another video. My name is Kenny Dingacha. I'm a developer at Nexus Green. At Nexus Green, we are your solarization partner where we do commercial and industrial solar solutions. We also do residential solar solutions. These are systems that you can deploy at your homes, hospitals, schools. a 5 kilowatt peak system with a 5.2 kilowatt power battery and we're using lithium ion technology and a hybrid inverter and because we are the official distributors of Jinko in Uganda the panels the inverter and the battery are all Jinko products we have a couple of projects going on summit free project AGL in Intinda Jalaram in uh, Mbale we provide all these places and warehouses and industries with uh, solar power to help them offset their electricity bills on a monthly basis. The connection points, the MC4 connectors, you have to make sure they are fully connected and the, they are fit on the joints. This is a home kit solution. Took us only two days. And the sizes range as small as one kilowatt all the way to megawatt scale. Within Nexus Green, we have a B2B business arm where we directly focus on solar solutions for commercial and industrial clients residential systems. Today I'm going to walk you through how a sample residential solar system works. We have a hybrid inverter, we have some batteries and some panels. I have a demo that I'm going to show you the functionalities of an inverter, how to do correct installation and configuration to ensure that your residential system is working safely and is able to meet your energy needs and also your power backup needs. We have a Jinko hybrid inverter here. It's an eight kilowatt. This one is a single phase, but in stock we also have three phase inverters. This is able to take in uh, input from PV, batteries, a generator as well. On the battery input, we are using lithium ion batteries. We have an ca overall capacity of 10 kilowatt hours. And the entire setup is able to support all the loads in our office as backup. This is uh, our lithium batteries. They are in two, they are connected in parallel and uh, we connect the communication cable. So on the system, this is the first battery and this is the second battery. The cable passes, comes to our inverter, then it powers the, it powers the inverter. Uh, the inverter converts power from the battery, it converts power, then it comes to our consumer unit. Now in our consumer unit we have uh, this the grid, our DP which we have in the grid connection. So this grid is uh, helping the inverter to charge the batteries. Then our this is our changeover switch. If you want to bypass the, the, the this system, we just change to grid and you, you get grid directly from from the grid. Then the grid powers the the, the loads. Now these are our, these are our circuit breakers. Those circuit breakers are for this, this socket and this bulb. So from the batteries, the inverter converts the, the, the power, then it brings it here, then it comes to our loads. So this is our loads, our socket and our light. The installation has some switching and protection gear, as you can see in this subboard. We are able to ensure that uh, we are protecting all components and we are ensuring that there is safe operation of the entire hybrid system. The system is able to give backup to the office operations during the day. We are utilizing lithium ion batteries, as you can see from our partners Jinko. And one of the key benefits of using lithium ion batteries is that uh, you have a longer shelf life, you have a longer warranty. Another key advantage is that the depth of discharge is more compared to your lead-acid batteries. 
Another key advantage of using uh, lithium-ion batteries is that uh, because most of them come with a BMS, the charging and discharging is within controlled limits of the BMS. The system has two parts. It has the power part, what will do the cabling of DC and AC, and then it has the communication part. Now basically what we do is to link the inverter to the battery bank and then also the battery communicates with the battery. So the master battery has to communicate with the slave battery in order to make sure that we have synchronized charging and discharging of the system. So this is the master battery and this is the slave. So basically we there is communication between the master and the slave. That's why we need a CAN cable to do that. And then after this, we also need the master battery to communicate with the inverter. So basically we put an RS485 cable to run from the master battery to the inverter. They come with remote monitoring where you can be able to see the functionalities of the system remotely, either through a laptop, phone or a tablet. We do this by providing internet to the operating units and with that you're able to monitor all the key performance indicators of the plant such as uh, the yield, the time of use, uh, the load behavior throughout the load cycle and then you're able to do some load management where you can be able to bring more loads during daytime such that uh, solar is able to offset a big part of your consumption. Locally it can be monitored on the screen of the inverter with the analog buttons to navigate through different uh, screens. This is the local monitoring. So basically it has four items on the screen. This is the PV production. It has the battery bank. This is the grid input. And this one is the consumption. So on each item, we can go into the details of each by tapping here. And then we can be able to access the battery information. For example, if we touch the battery icon, uh, we can be able to see the consumption here and energy locally. We can be able to know how much we are yielding, we are, how much we are picking from the utility and how much we are spending on utility consumption. It can also be monitored online, either on a smartphone, tablet, uh, Android or iOS. This is a Wi-Fi dongle, so it basically helps us to monitor uh, it links this device to the internet um, so that we are be able to pick the data from the screen to the cloud and then be able to monitor all this to get all this uh, to our phones and computers. Reach out to us if you're considering installing such a system. If you're suffering from constant blackouts, if you need energy independence, if you need to use clean and renewable energy, please give us a call. We are always available for you. Reach out to us if you're considering installing such a backup system for your premise. Uh, it will help you lower your electricity bills. It helps you uh, with energy independence so that you have multiple sources of power. You're also utilizing clean and renewable energy and it also helps you in your net zero journey. Thank you very much for watching this episode. Be sure to share, like, subscribe and make sure to catch us on the next one. Bye bye.